Uh, my name is Tim Peterson, uh, T-I-M-P-E-T-E-R-S-O-N. We've been in the Plex for, well, prior to about 49 years. Uh, we lived, we've been on, well, about 45 years. Plex was built in about the six, 70s, I believe. So we moved in there and now we're here. It's been about one whole semester living here now. It's been a real blast. <laughs> uh, so the house can hold uh, 30 actual members, so uh, two per room. Uh, however, there are two rooms set aside for singles, so that means the actual number is 28. So 28 individual people could live here at any time. Living here versus the Plex, it's been definitely, it brings back that like brotherhood spirit. Uh, kind of a place or one of our four, four pillars of our fraternity is housing. And one of the main factors of that is, you know, taking care of where we live and seeing it full is definitely another part of that. So having it be full uh, to a certain, a certain extent is phenomenal. And it's great to see everybody around. It kind of brings that like home to where we are. Fortunately for us, uh, the house, for financial reasons, we do not own the property as uh, our chapter. Uh, we, our nationals go through our housing corporation, which is called Barrister Capital Corporation, which has per purchased the property off the previous uh, owner. Um, so the more people we have in here, the more financially stable it can be uh, long term. Our numbers need to be in a certain range. So I believe it needs to be 23 people per year uh, living here. Uh, at any point, and then it's financially sustainable, uh, which is easily done, uh, especially with the amount of people that we have living here now. So uh, first year is always more difficult than the rest, but we'll see where it goes from here. Uh, the presence has definitely been improved, I would say. It was definitely nice to have the letters go up on the front. You could actually see the, the, uh, the improvement that we've come from one place to another. Instead of a brick building, all around in eight different quadrants, we have a brick building where it can actually hold just our own fraternity and make it just us. And we don't have to go through university housing standards or anything like that too. So it makes it really, really convenient for us, especially built living here. So our presence definitely been known a lot more than it was in the past. So this is my uh, senior year here at UCM. Uh, I joined two full years ago uh, in fall 17 and like something that I could never forget, but it's definitely been something that from when I lived in the complex to now, uh, it's dramatic and it's crazy, so. As I moved in the second semester of my sophomore year and uh, I moved in the top floor and at that time there was 17 people living there and then come my junior year, there was two people. I had the entire second floor to myself and Marcus lived downstairs. So up until maybe November, December, I had the entire floor to myself. So coming from having basically a full floor to uh, the floor by yourself is very different and it's very lonely and sad. If you, if you live with people, obviously your relationship is different than just like knowing them. So I think it's fun. It's fun to live in a house with all of your best friends and to be able to have, be able to walk into someone's room and be like, what's up? How's your day going? I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think it's easier having events here because I mean, there's 20 guys that live here so everybody just walks out of the room instead of everybody has to meet at this place at this time like when we were at the Plex everybody had to show up at a certain time and that sometimes that wouldn't happen so it's cool just so you can just go knock on someone's door and say hey we got an event going on come downstairs. Uh, downstairs is sweet there's uh, an air hockey table a pool table shuffleboard poker table um, there's a kitchen. Me and Tim fought really hard to make sure that the kitchen happens because we wanted a place to cook our food. So that's a, it's a really cool kitchen area. Um, yeah, and people hang out down there and they play Wii and a bunch of other stuff. It's cool. I think it's pretty sweet. It's, it's, it sucks that it's my last year here because I wish I could see it in two more years and see how everything changes because this first year it's kind of like a test run and we're just still figuring out how to live in a house because we haven't done it yet so um no i think it's cool and all the alumni that come back they're ecstatic to see it and they like walking in the doors and they're like oh my gosh this is our house so it's cool it's really cool